Now, this is like the Mac Daddy of garage sale finds here. What we got here is a... Oh, a couple hours I'm going to have to go to the beach. I'm not looking forward to that. It's going to be hot today. Yeah. What's it? I never like going to the beach. No? no? I guess we live in the wrong spot, huh? Yeah. How much you asking for the reel? You mean like the whole thing? Yeah. I mean 20 bucks you can have it. But you're usually like $120. Yeah. Like My sister's boyfriend wants to go down and fish off the pier today. I don't have anything no. that'll work in salt water. I just got like lake ones. Well, that one's definitely big enough. I think there's a uh, 50 pound line on it. There you go. I'll take it. that in the room. Keep looking here. Ugh. It's a good pole, it's just I don't surf fish anymore. Mm -hmm. It's kind of, I mean, you know how it is, sharks and skates. And yeah. Sometimes you get lucky and some bulls will be running out there. Sometimes you get lucky with some stripers. I've been down here seven years, I haven't went fishing yet. Really? Well, I mean, we rented a beach house and I went fishing off the, like, the back bay, yeah. but like actually out Keep talking about chartering a boat or something. Never do that. I trust me, my little chihuahua is very happy that I'm there too. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, I did have to come back to the real world. Right. Yeah, he said, you stay right here, Mama. Good morning. Good morning. Good, how you doing? Good, guys so i screwed up on those garage sale videos uh the ones you saw were fine but i didn't really find anything there um, but what i did do is i recorded my entire trip over to this community yard sale and guess what that's where i found my stuff so i recorded the trip and then when i got out of the car i turned the recording off so you didn't get to see it um, but i am going to show you a couple things that i picked up i didn't find a lot but what i found was really really good 
If you guys follow me over on Instagram, you've already seen this one here. But this is like the Mac Daddy of garage sale finds here. What we got here is a vintage super soaker with this backpack. This is like the one everybody wanted as a kid when I was younger and, you know, nobody had. This is the what C gps 3200 i tested this bad boy out and it worked great i put it on my son robbie filled it up let him have a little uh fun with it um you know this thing's freaking awesome so i picked this thing up for two bucks it was just a couple old folks that were having the garage sale and uh they're like oh we just dug that out of the attic two dollars i'm like sold this thing I have listed for 250 bucks. I've already got a couple washers on it. Um, I have this plus shipping. The highest one I saw was $274 with free shipping. And then there were some others that were around 225 sold. Currently, as I listed this, there was one active that was $175 starting at auction. So I have no doubts that this bad boy is gonna move. The only problem with it is that one of these little clips on the back here, this one right here, there's a piece that's broken off of it, so it won't fully latch, but it hooks on there. You can wear it and everything like that. You know, um, it's cool, man. I mean, the stickers and stuff are a little worn on it, but hey, this thing's like 30, 40 years old. So pretty cool on that one, and I was happy to have that. Next thing I got was just one thing at this yard sale. This lady had a pair of Jordan Retro Olive Lux. These things were in excellent condition, set her daughter warm like twice. Um, she played basketball, but decided not to keep my guess. These were a size nine women's or a seven and a half men's. So I paid 20 bucks for them, but sold comps on it strong. I got them listed at a hundred bucks plus shipping. Also got two pairs of Johnson and Murphy uh, Oxford shoes. These were, one was basically new and the other was brand new both had boxes with them i picked them up for seven dollars fifty cents um total so i spent 15 bucks on the pair and uh these are pretty good sold comps on these i got them listed at 90 and 110 again i already got some watchers on them so we'll see what happens with them but i've done well with those shoes and having the box i think is going to help them move uh just a little bit better and then I was wrapping up the day and I decided to stop at Goodwill. I had to end my garage selling right around 1130-ish, so I needed to get home. And I walked into the Goodwill and I found these Kobe Bryant Crazy 8 shoes. These here are a men's size 10 and a half. Very rare shoe out there. Not a lot of these on the market. None in this size currently and excellent, excellent condition. I mean, there's a little bit of scuffage on the back, but uh, not really scuffage, just kind of blackened, but I've gotten most of any discoloration off but these things are sweet i picked them up i think i don't know if i said it 15 bucks i paid for these at goodwill they had them marked up as they tend to do when their shoes sit around for a couple days somebody comes back through and marks them up usually they're at 549 but hey it doesn't matter so i have these listed right now for 200 dollars plus shipping i don't know if i'll get that but i do have it for now and they are an excellent addition to my store so I got a friend from work that just recently uh, left the military. Um, one of the things that we have a lot down here where I'm at is uh, people in military service in the Chesapeake, Virginia Beach, Norfolk area. It's all kind of right next to each other. And uh, it's very rare to come across somebody not in service. So I'm going to see what she's got here. Um, she wants to do this stuff on consignment. I may just go ahead, look through all this stuff, get it listed, and then just kind of offer a 40% based on what I think it might sell for versus sitting on some stuff that may be longer tail items. I've got real no experience selling military gear and things like that, so I don't know what I'm getting myself into, but uh, let's go ahead and take a look. I got two bins full. All right, so let's see what we got here. First off, this is just a plain t-shirt. I may be able to lot some of these up and lots there i see a couple of those just your regular i don't know what color like an olive green or whatever what's this this looks like some sort of hat there you go it's like a cold weather ski mask type thing looks like it's inside out i got a pair of boots a pair of very gently worn boots oh not gently worn boots some brand new boots these are uh, what, women's size seven combat boots. She's gonna go through all this stuff with me. I'm gonna send her some pictures and she's gonna tell me what's what, like cold weather versus warm weather versus what the uh, actual stuff is called. But these should fetch some pretty decent money. Got another pair of boots here, are these new? 
Now, these aren't new, but they are still in very, very good condition. Yeah, they don't look like they've seen much action. This is got some army, some kind of jogging pants. It's like a track suit jacket type thing here. And I don't know what you call this stuff, so we'll have to ask her. These are some formal shoes there. Big old pair of heavy socks. I think yep, that was a patch. <clears throat> All right, we got the hat here, still new with tags. We got a jacket here. Again, I don't know what this stuff's called, so what is this? Combat medium regular. I see this stuff all the time at the thrift stores for very, very cheap, but I don't really know what stuff's called, so I never buy it. If I start doing well off of this, you guys may start to see me source that stuff a lot more. All right, I got another jacket or work shirt or whatever these are called. Another one new with tags. Some plain basic army shirts. Army. You can tell what branch he was in. Army. Pair of pants. Again, new with the tags on them. Nice. I like that. This one's not new. Yeah. So, oh, they're new. Now, I don't know if these are women's or unisex. I don't know how they size their stuff. Let's see what it says here. Unisex. So, big old bundle of uniforms. I see some more tags down here. Another pair of pants. So it may make sense to lock these up into outfits or full uniforms. There's some like, army jogging shorts. Another pair of pants. Yep, basically another thing. Alright, let's move over to bin number two. Bin number two. Oh, we got a heavy duty backpack. Again, I don't know what you call these things. It's got some kind of board in there. Modular lightweight load carrying equipment. Backpack. There's another shoe. I don't know if that's the one that went to that first one. This is like a big old heavy trench coat, basically. Garrison collection. I do see this stuff out at the stores. I have to find out what it's called exactly, but I think that can fetch some good money. We got another one. Another one new with the tags. What size is it? 14XL. Another pair of shirt or Garrison Collection dress shirt there. Still new. There we go. We got your combat vest or something like that. Tech vest tactical load bearing enhanced. That's probably going to sell for some decent cash. And we got another, another jacket here. So, and one more t-shirt and a belt. A rigger's belt. And whatever that is. I'm thinking that's like a tie. That's like a lady's tie or something to wear with a dress shirt. All right, so I got my work cut out for this. We'll see what this stuff is worth. I think these here 
and then plus those jackets and the new stuff is going to sell for some pretty good money but uh i gotta let you know you want to see what this stuff stuff sells for just keep watching the channel guys as i'm putting this last part of the video together it's friday evening uh we're having my daughter's 13th birthday tomorrow i'm going to be smoking some ribs so i'm going to try to hit up some garage sales early my plan is to fire up the smoker around 11 and then i'll be smoking meats all day so i'm hoping to find some good stuff i'm gonna have that gopro charged and i'm gonna take it with me uh just a reminder i am about oh less than 10 away from 900 once i get to that 200 subscriber mark i'm going to be giving away my gopro hero 7 so if you have not subscribed go ahead and do so smash that like button if you liked anything you've seen here uh give me a thumbs up there it really helps this channel get out in front of more eyes the more thumbs up it has so thanks for watching see you guys in the next one